sexual assault and domestic violence are so connected. With sexual assault and domestic violence, it was skeletons in the closet. You were told not to speak about it. The craziest part about it is that it's not usually strangers. It's family members or very close friends. So they feel guilty because they feel like they allowed it or that how could they not see this? How can they not recognize it? And perpetrators are so, they exactly know what they're doing. One out of four girl gets molested before 18 and boys it's one to six. I always tell them if you can't sleep at night and you feel the need you need to call us please call the you know the number that the hotline number that we have so they can call us and talk to someone because sometimes they do need to talk to someone. Yeah. It's like know. a roller coaster of emotions mm -hmm. with everything that they're going through. Yeah. I know at Chrysalis our hotline that is 24-7 there is somebody there the whole time. Honestly when somebody calls a hotline, that is the hardest thing they can do. A lot of times they think the hardest thing that they could do is when they, when they come in for services, but just picking up that phone and calling the hotline and saying, I need help. How can you help me? That takes a lot of courage and strength. Wow.